This is the story of a man who, even as a teenager, had a vision of crossing the seas in a reed boat, a vision that no one thought possible. Driven by curiosity and the question of the origin of our civilizations, Dominique Gerlitz embarks on his voyages of exploration. He has already sailed several expeditions on the Mediterranean and even the North Atlantic. This film accompanies Dominique Gerlitz on his fourth adventurous expedition, which has taken him halfway around the world, from Egypt to the Black Sea. Across the seven seas My skin feels the ocean breeze I'm guided by a dream A dream made of history Following in the footsteps of the Argonauts, the crew of the Abora 4 will explore the distant trading ventures of the peoples of the Black Sea region and the Aegean. Experts still disagree as to whether Herodotus' claim that Egyptian seafarers found their way to the distant Black Sea in order to import valuable raw materials from there is true or not. The Abora 4 mission is the continuation of the Cheops project from 2013, which dealt with the use of iron in ancient Egypt. So, was there overseas trade and lively exchange at the dawn of antiquity? And is it really conceivable that the pyramid builders in Egypt used a metal such as iron, which all experts previously believed was smelted for the first time by the Hittites a thousand years later. His research led Dominique Gerlitz to the Eastern Black Sea, because both Herodotus and Aeschylus claimed that the beginnings of iron processing were located there. Abora IV's voyage from the Black Sea to the Mediterranean was an attempt to document that Herodotus' histories weren't fantasies. The Egyptians probably imported not only iron, but also amber and tin via the Black Sea and through the stormy Aegean Sea. The modern expedition's aim was to demonstrate that such a difficult trade voyage was in fact feasible. 